Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 17 and in this video we're going to talk about the document ready and window load events. <laughs> Alright then gang, so by now you should probably know that I always put my script tags right at the bottom of the web page just before the closing body tag, right? And the reason I do that is so that the rest of the HTML can load first of all, because if in the JavaScript I'm creating an event or binding an event to one of these elements. I want to be safe in the knowledge that that element, sorry, has loaded before I bind it. And if I put them at the bottom here, I can be pretty safe in that assumption. But some people or some developers like to pop their script tags right at the top in the head up here. Right. And I've worked for clients where they're very protective of their source code and they don't want me to move these script tags to the bottom of the page, which is fine. You know, if they want to do that, that's up to them. But in order to make sure that everything, help, uh, everything else is loaded in the web page, first of all, I need to do one of two things in my JavaScript files. I need to either use the document.onready function or the window.onload function, right? So I'm going to show you these two functions now. The first one is the documents.onready function, right? And then I'd specify my callback function right here. And then right here is everything that's going to happen on that web page, like me binding events to certain elements. This way, I can be sure that those elements have been loaded in. So this is what the document on ready function does. It says, hey, when the document is ready, and that means when all the elements have been loaded, when all the DOM, the document object model, is ready for me to bind events to, then fire your events or bind your events or do whatever it is you want to do. Okay, so I get in the habit of doing this first of all. And again, we have the shorthand methods that are taught you in the last tutorial. We can say dot ready, document dot ready. And for this particular event, there is an even shorter version we can use. We can just do this like that. Okay. And that is essentially saying when the document is ready, then do whatever you need to do. OK, it's just a dollar sign, open parenthesis and then your function and then the close parenthesis right there at the end. OK, so that is the document ready. We put everything in here after the document is ready. Right now, the other one I want to show you is the window dot on load event and this is similar, but it waits for the whole web page to load, not just these elements right here. So things like if you've got images, right, we're not just waiting for the tag to load in the document. We're waiting for the image itself to load. You know where you see a bit at a time loading of that image? Once it's fully loaded, then we fire our code, okay? Once everything has loaded on the page. And you might think, well, why would you want to do that? Surely all you need is the DOM to be loaded, right? All these tags, because if the tags are there, then you can start binding events to them. And yeah, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. You can do that. But in some cases, you might want to figure out the dimensions of certain images, right? If you're doing some kind of image slider or some other thing to do with images and you want to calculate, say, the width of the image or the height of an image, you might want that image to fully load into the web page first before you calculate that height, because then that is the only way it's going to be accurate. OK, so that's when you'd use the window.onload method instead of the document.ready. And again, there's a shorthand version. We can take this away and we can just say window.ready. Uh, sorry, not dot ready, dot load. OK, that's exactly the same. So they, my friends, are the two methods I wanted to show you if you had your scripts right up here. And to be honest, even when they're down here, I get into the habit of doing something like this, document ready or window.load. I always do it. OK, so if you have any questions about these two methods, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in the very next video.